Hey YouTube, what's going on? So as you can probably already tell, I just got out of the shower. My hair is doing that normal wet, shiny thing and it's not all fluffy and whatnot. But yeah, so today was a pretty rough day as far as work goes. Like I got to work at 10, went to lunch at 3, 3 something I went to lunch, 3.30. Back to work at 4.30, worked 4.30 till about 6.50, and this is how the last 10 minutes of work go, okay. We start closing all the garage doors so that no one else will come. Suddenly, two people arrive. We have one garage door open, and two people show up. One guy needs tires changed on rims and stuck on his truck, and another truck needed something else done to it. Now, our boss had told us two days ago that we weren't accepting cars after 6.30. It was now 6.45, 6.47, something like that. It was just a few minutes before I clocked out. And so we tell these people that. Well, they go inside, and they uh, talk to our person at the desk, and she goes and tells the manager what's going on and, you know, reminds her what she says. She comes back there and then she tells us and me and two other guys that we have to do the work. Well, I am ten minutes away from going overtime. And if I don't clock out, I get written up and have a chance of losing my job. So what did I do? Oh, I'm close to overtime. Gotta go. See you guys later. Peace. I left them alone with the two vehicles by themselves. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a douchebag today. I'm okay with that. It was just fine with me. I got to leave early. What do I care? So now on to, you know, came home obviously. I sat around for forever in my work clothes and I just got a shower. It's like uh, 9.50 at night. So yeah, and uh, you know, I'm constantly covered in, you know, grease and oil and brake dust up to my elbows and past my elbows, all over my face. It's just, it's not fun. All over my face. Come on now. But, yeah, so, now here's the interesting thing, alright? I'm done with my shower. I'm pulling up my pants. There is a pain in my toe. This is the order in which my brain registered that pain. First thing that, that happens, why is my toe hurting? That's, that's the first thing that hits my brain. Second thing is, ouch, that hurts. Third thought that goes through my head, why did I think about what was, why my pain was instead of ouch first? What, what, did my mind just decide, it's opposite day, let's do things backwards. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. So, yeah. Alright, now here's... Now we're on to yesterday's question of the day because that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I really didn't talk to Angie. But for more than a few minutes, she was off selling shrimp with her sister. So, yeah, that must have been fun and exciting. Yay! I get to ride around in a car for eight hours and she sells shrimp. That was a terrible imitation. But I tried my best. I swear, no, I didn't. I lie. So, I digress. Uh, yesterday's question of the day, which was, do you think nuclear power should be the power of choice? Do you think they're making the right to say, you know, what do you think of nuclear power? My personal views on it, really, America, you're going to stop nuclear production and go back to coal. Let's, let's ruin the environment for everybody and give everybody pneumonia, ultra microscopic silicone, vaccinoconiosis, which, by the way, is also known as coal miner's lung. No, it's just, come on, cancer rates, health rates, they're all, well, cancer rates are ridiculously high. I mean, health is destroyed uh, thanks to coal plants in the resounding area. So why would you want to build more of them? All right, yes, a nuclear disaster did happen in Japan. It happened before in Russia, too. That time we didn't freak out so bad. That was really bad. This time we freaked out horribly about Japan, and it wasn't nearly as bad as Chernobyl. But we're gonna, you know, Germany, sh oh, we're shutting all of ours. You're an idiot. I'm sorry, you, yes, let's go back to the Stone Age of Power, shall we? Really? Let's, let's melt the ice caps. I mean, that's essentially what you're saying. 
It's like, oh, times are tough. You know, the equivalent of, you know, saying gas prices are high. Times are tough for the environment. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to buy a Hummer. That's essentially, that's, that's an analogy for what you're doing with nuclear power. It makes no sense. Gas prices are high, you buy a Hummer. Global warming? Let you no nukes. Really? Alright, not that I truly believe in global warming, but for the sake of the argument, I'm going to go with gover what governments say is happening. So, uh, yeah, it works. I win. Really? Now, on to today's question of the day, which is... Mm. No, all that epicness leading into this, and uh, I don't even have uh, a question ready today. Uh, heck, I don't know. Mm. I think we've already done Xbox or 360 and all that. My life is boring. I don't have many things to, you know, the things I would normally ask you guys about. You'd be like, what, Billy? I don't understand your idiocracy talkness stuff. Why would you tell me things I don't know about? I get option A or option B, and I don't know what either of them are. So I don't, I don't know what's what's going on in the world that I could ask you a question about. Hmm. Uh. You know what? We're we're gonna do a new segment, and it's called Let Take It to the Web. And we're going to go to yahoo.com. I'm going to look at news articles. And I'll ask you questions about them. Actor refuses to fix his crooked teeth. That's the first thing. Um, Steve Boos, whatever, the guy from uh, Armageddon, you know him. Uh, no. Ballpark offering an $80 hot dog. No. Countdown to Karmic. Who cares? Oh, here we go. Uh, you know, Harry Potter just came out. One of the, probably the biggest opening, you know, midnight showing ever. So, did you go see it? And if you did, what did you think of it? Let me know. Or tell me if you don't even like Harry Potter. Or, did you read the books? Did you not read the books? Let me know your views on Harry Potter. I'd love to hear them. I do believe that that is now it for today's vlog. And I will see all of you.